right guys good afternoon i hope you're doing well out there i'm here in central ontario canada this is where i call home and as you know if you've been around the channel this is where i get up to all my sawing activities and well building playgrounds or working on tractors or out at my sawmill what i'm going to talk about today is something i've been meaning to talk about for quite some time you guys have probably wondered about it even uh, maybe even asked about it and what that is is what on earth is in my sludge cup this is what I like to call a sludge cup. It's a coffee cup to most people. I drink a heck of a lot of sludge or coffee on a day-to-day -ba day -day basis. In fact, I've probably had a few already today. I lose track. What's in that sludge cup when I'm out and about doing my stuff has been the exact same sludge for probably the last five years or so. And today I'm actually gonna tell you what it is. That's the stuff right there that I have found to be the absolute best sludge that I can get anywhere. Before we go any further, I'm not being paid to say this. That's the honest to goodness truth. That right there is called Crazy Goat. I found it quite a while ago when I was uh, in a coffee shop. Went up, ordered the stuff because I like the name of it. And it was like one of those moments where you find something amazing and you just, you just never get off of it. That right there, Crazy Goat, is something that is, um, well, it's actually roasted in central Ontario. So it's actually in my uh, general vicinity that's roasted at a place called Diesel House Coffee Roasters in Bracebridge, Ontario. Uh, that stuff is, it's a beautiful thing. Let's just put it that way. I've traveled a decent amount. I've been all the way over into Europe. I've been down south into Central America. I've actually seen coffee fields. I've tried it right at the source. I can't find anything better than that stuff that's roasted in uh, Bracebridge, Ontario. So that stuff, if you're wondering, is always in my glass or always in my, uh, my sludge cup. In fact, I'm starting to get itching for another one. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to make it because it's a little bit different than probably some of you think. I don't use a Keurig machine. I uh, don't use a, a French press or a drip uh, coffee style machine or anything like that. I actually cheat a little bit. I use a cappuccino machine. You guys see this one behind me? This is the second version of this exact machine that I've had because the first one got so used that I wore it out. This right here, and I have no affiliation with any of these companies, um, whatever this one is, Quiz, Quizinart and uh, Breville, Breville. I, I don't have any association with them, but uh, this has been the one that has made my sludge every single day, several times a day for years and years and years. This isn't even the most expensive machine, but it works quite well. What I do is this. I start off with obviously a bag of Crazy Goat. This happens to be whole beans. I only drink fresh coffee. Um, if you get coffee and it's been in the freezer or it's sat out for a while, people who really drink the coffee, they know. I know. I go with fresh stuff. And then what I do, obviously, without having to open one of those bags, I got the uh, beans right here. And you can really tell those beans are fresh. They, uh, they, they have an oil to them. And uh, they smell absolutely amazing. These go into my grinder. And you'll notice that I use this quite a bit because it's quite uh, quite dirty. So it goes into my grinder like so. And I actually put fresh uh, beans into my grinder every single time I make sludge. So that's actually a little bit much for this time around. But I put that in there. And then we get the lid on there. In terms of the setting from, uh, what is it, fine all the way to coarse. Uh, that's more or less the size of the, uh, the grind. I put it just in between medium and, uh, and fine and then I press start. Now, I'm out here in the woods. I don't have electricity, but I'm gonna fire up a generator right now. We'll make just a little bit of grinds, then we'll put it into our machine, and we'll go from there. Before we get there, the water I put in here. Nothing fancy. It's not distilled water or water from like uh, Antarctica or anything like that. That's fresh well water. Just goes into the hopper there. And depending on the time of the day, I'm usually a good shot at that or I'm not. So we fill that up. And this is, and that's kind of gross, it's still a little bit dirty from the last time. This is where the grinds go after they come out of there. So let's go fire up the generator. We'll take the grinds, put them in here, tamp them down, put them in here, and we'll make ourselves a nice, uh, nice sludge, which as you guys know, I like to do several times a day. And I don't mean one or two. Here we go. Hope this thing fires up. All right, here we go. Hey, 
Hey, the generator's still working. So I let that grind, and I don't know, it probably grinds for like, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Sometimes I stand around and waft it. Ah, that's good stuff. All right, we'll call that good. Oh yeah, when it's fresh, I tell you, when it's fresh, you know it. So there's that. And then more or less what I do, I use this thing, comes with the machine here. I couldn't tell you how much I put in, I just try to level it off. Maybe two good scoops. Something like that, and then I use the other end. Put some good pressure on there. Knock off any excess. There we go. And I probably should have been preheating this. Oh, generator didn't like that one. This locks in down here. And then I just sit there and I wait patiently and think about what's coming as I wait for the uh, heating element to get to the temperature. That's going to sit under there and I'm going to sort of duck my head real close and it's going to smell amazing. I'm not sure how long this will take. I've never used this with a generator before. Funny story here, when I go and visit people, I actually bring this entire setup with me. It's like if I don't have it, it's like... Uh, I don't know, it's like leaving your toothbrush at home or something you really need. Although I guess you could go and buy a toothbrush at a store there, but I, I take this as if it's uh, one of the most uh, important things on my trip. There we go, you see that light go off? So it's warm, I'm going to turn this to, uh, uh, I guess you call it the cappuccino setting. And the difference is normally if you are drawing a shot of uh, espresso, normally what you do, you just fill it up a little bit and turn it off, maybe fill the rest with you know, steamed milk or uh, hot water or whatever. Not me though, I let her run right till she's full. Get a good look in there. Oh yeah. You guys see in there? Well, generator's working. If you could smell what I smell, you'd be sold. So I don't know, that's probably a double espresso shot right there. Most people would shut her off. I just let the machine keep running until we get a full, full cup of sludge. The worst part is the anticipation. I know how good this stuff is, especially when I'm really itching for a sludge. You sit there and watch and admire the uh, admire the drink. All right, we're gonna call that good. Back to standby. Shut her off. The generator will probably like that, and you guys get a good seat there. Have a look at that. Oh yeah. Tell you, it doesn't get any better right there. I think I'd give you the shirt off my back before I gave you my sludge. In winter. Yeah, that's that's the stuff right there. So, if you guys were ever wondering what I'm drinking in my sludge cup, that is exactly what I'm drinking every single time, and I've been doing that for years. If you see a little bit of grit along the outside, just know that I didn't put the grinds in exactly right. Maybe I got a bit sloppy because I was tired, but that's what I'm drinking. This is the stuff right there. So the uh, Diesel House Coffee Roasters. Thank you, fine folks. You guys know what you're doing. Um, Crazy Goat, I'll put a link down below. If you want to know where you buy this stuff, feel free to drop in. Um, Bracebridge, Ontario, as I said, I think they got a website that's got all that stuff listed, but uh, that's a ticket for me. I think if uh, Christmas comes early and someone wanted to uh, 
you know, grab me a gift. That'd be the stuff right there. That would uh, get you a lot of favors. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. You guys all take care out there. Be well. Have yourself a nice glass of sludge or cup of sludge, and I'll see you guys all next time.